Hey, everybody. This is Eric Worrell with RimPrep.com. And every Tuesday, as of this year, I'm doing a segment called Tool Belt Tuesday. So that's just something where we kind of research something that you can use and put in your tool belt as a landlord or property manager when you're dealing uh, with your tenants and managing your properties. So today, what we're talking about is doing a property search. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a, another screen here. I'm going to kind of minimize myself here, hopefully. And uh, what you can see here is a typical rental application. This is actually the one that we use at Rent Prep. So there shouldn't be anything kind of mind blowing to you. But you can see that, uh, of course, you're asking for the previous address and current address of the tenant who's applying for your rental property. So when you get this information, some tenants, not all, a small um, minority, not the majority, but some will put fake information on a rental application. I know it probably blows your mind, right? But one thing that you can do is you can actually do a property search to see if the information on this application matches up with uh, what's on the public records. This is actually a tip that I got from uh, Andrew Schultz, who if you follow along in our Rent Prep for Landlords Facebook group, you're very familiar with. And uh, I'm going to actually show you how this works. So uh, just as an example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Zillow here because Zillow is a pretty easy way to um, find this information. And I was actually researching um, Lansing, Michigan, because uh, Steve and I are doing a talk there uh, coming up in the um, next week. And if you click on this home here, hopefully you can see this fine on the screen. Anytime you're on Zillow, what you can do is you can find a lot of information about that property, obviously, but you can also find the parcel number. So if you click on see more facts and features. If it stops scrolling here for me, let's pull it up a little bit. All right, see more facts and features. And we go down, you will find out there is a parcel number here. So that is very specific. If you are capable of searching by parcel number, it's a little bit easier. Um, and I'll show you that uh, why that is. So in the write up here, I kind of uh, put a different search terms you can put on Google. But in this particular case, I'm just going to put uh, Lansing, Michigan property search. So now what you can see is you're going to get a bunch of uh, results here. And if you don't have the right term because you got to tweak it, maybe put in something for your county, your town, your city, you always go to the bottom on Google search results. Uh, let me uh, take the agenda off here so this isn't uh, blocking this. And if you go to the bottom here, it'll give you related searches that people might be um, looking at. So that might give you an idea of what the proper thing is to uh, search. But what we have here is we have property information for Lansing, Michigan. So if you recall a second ago, um, I just got the parcel information. So now I can access property information under here. So not the prettiest looking website. And these will all look different depending on what town city that you're using. But you can see that there's a drop down here. You can do it by address, name, parcel number. That's usually how a lot of them work. Um, they also, some of them do like um, by like lot and uh, uh, that information. But uh, putting in the parcel number, I'm going to hit enter here. And here you go. You can see that 124 North Francis that belongs to this fellow Mark, uh, 124 North Francis. So it, this is a pretty easy way uh, to find information and see if it matches up with public records. So if you're um, looking at an application and you don't have to do this if you don't want before you call a uh, tenant and their uh, landlord, previous landlord. But if you call and you just get this weird feeling like, you know what, I'm not sure if that was legit. Uh, it sounds like that somebody might be covering for them. Maybe it's a friend or family member that's doing that. Uh, what you can do is you can go uh, to Zillow, uh, type in the address of this property, right? Uh, make sure you scroll down, get the parcel number because that's the easiest identifier that you can use for the, uh, instead of doing address or name, uh, and then do a Google search, uh, look up property search in your city, town, county, whatever you need to do, and then uh, look it up and see if that information matches. One thing that you should be cognizant of is sometimes the information won't match because maybe the person on uh, the rental application might be the property manager. So that might be a question you want to ask if you talk to the person, be like, are you the landlord or are you the property manager? But again, uh, using these public records is a good way to see if somebody might be fibbing on a rental application. So another thing I should mention too is it is legal for you to deny a tenant applicant without any reason if they lied on the rental application. So if you find out that somebody is having somebody cover for them for their current address because maybe they're going through an eviction and you find out that the information put here is not accurate, you can deny them for that. So again, running through it one more time, just go to Zillow, get the parcel number, then do a search of some sort with it. Maybe it's a property search with the town city in there and then enter that parcel number and 
look at the uh, public records and see what kind of information you can pull up. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Every Tuesday, we're going to be doing these. Uh, we'll be sharing these into the Rent Prep for Landlords Facebook group as well. And uh, you can like our page and uh, check us out on our uh, Facebook group too uh, to connect. And every Tuesday, we'll be bringing you just little tips, little things that you can do, little things you can put in your tool belt to make it a little bit easier for you being a landlord or property manager. All right. Well, hopefully this was helpful and I will see you soon. Now you